Hi everyone, I hope everybody is healthy, healthy, super healthy, doing good and staying sane and safe. So today we'll talk about anger. Very special topic, very quick, simple and short. So anger comes from your mind. I've always been talking about different things. So mind and soul is different. Soul is eternal. And your mind is like, it is wavering, shaking, whatever comes in front, it gulps in and it starts to process. So when somebody is angry, the mind is very turbulent. They don't understand what is right, what is wrong. Now anger comes when we, we possess something, when we stick to something. So if I snatch something from somebody, like if I snatch their title, the job title where they're working on or the place where they are or if they're eating something and they really really like that food and i snatch that they'll get angry why because they are so obsessed and possessed about that thing or that job title that it sticks to their mind and it is so intact in their mind like if it is shaken they are in fear like something has gone so if something goes off from your mind immediately and if you don't like that it causes anger so that is why you get angry now if i tell you that whatever you have today in your life from money to your job titles to your parents to everything in this world everything is given to you for a purpose and when the purpose of that thing is over, that person or the materialistic thing that you have in your life is gone. So when you are taken from this earth, nothing physical or any relationship goes with you in the next life that you have. So when everything is traveling, you are on a journey, you are traveling, does it make sense to get angry? When it is not yours and it will never be yours, it's all God's, it's all universe there for a purpose. Do you really think being angry is something that is coming to you or you are making yourself angry or you are getting possessed or obsessed with somebody or anybody? Simple answer is no. The simple answer is no because we are not aware that we are energy. We are not aware that we are a soul on a journey. And we are not being into that zone. And when we are not into, the, uh, into that zone, it means we are not aware. We are not aware that mind and soul is different. Whatever we have and what we are sticking to in this physical world, it's all materialistic and it's sticking to our mind. So whenever something is going off, our mind is getting turbulent. That is causing anger. And even if we love somebody, like today is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day to everybody. So if we love that person, and if the person is not acting our way, we get angry. Why we get angry? Because we have created a certain image or certain actions that the person should do and that is why we are loving that person. And if the person is not, be not behaving our way, we are getting angry. We are imposing our thoughts, our actions, our conditions. If the person does that, I love that person. Why? Is love supposed to be conditional or is supposed to be love or the love is supposed to be unconditional? When you have everything in your mind, those conditions, those pre-notions, they're coming from the mind and that is what is making you angry. Love is done unconditionally. It is a purpose of the soul. It's not about sticking to the mind. That is why we get angry on that person and that is why we expect a person to behave our ways. So if you expect a person to behave your way, it is not unconditional love. It is just love. And love is coming from your mind. 
अनकंडीशनल लव मीन्स अ लव बिटवीन अ गुरु एंड देर शिष्य द ट्रेनी एंड द ट्रेनर मदर डॉटर फादर डॉटर फादर दे सन्स so unconditional love means just giving that love will not give you anger whatever the person is doing it will not take away your peace it will not matter to you because you are giving and giving and giving and the love is blossoming and transforming the other person so you are not supposed to stick to your mind you have to get in the awareness in the consciousness that you are a soul everybody is on a journey anger is coming from your mind all the seeds of anger are being created in your mind you have to step out of your mind and cross the mind to get to the consciousness of your soul so that you can give love you can share love unconditionally and dissipate your anger and churn away your anger and just be a giver of love because unconditional love eats anger you won't be angry you will shift in an understanding zone of why we are getting angry and once you are in that consciousness you are in that awareness anger will never matter to you and one health fact that i leave you with today is when you get angry all your cells inside the body gets degenerated so it is unhealthy for your body it burns like fire it dissipates all the energy it creates negative energy in your body so just be in awareness that if you are getting angry your mind is triggering so you have to cross that level and your soul will put water on that anger that has been created or anything that is disturbing you in this materialistic world or any relationship that is not going the way that you want so happy valentines day to everybody i love you all just be in the consciousness of unconditional love and have water fall on your anger so take care everybody i'll see you around soon and uh, god bless kar bhala to ho bhala do good deeds and it will come back to you and make you smile every time